What is systematic sampling? Advantage and disadvantage of systematic sampling. Welcome to a new episode of Learning where we demystify complex statistical concepts for you. Today, we are exploring a popular sampling technique known as systematic sampling. This method, often used in research, is a statistical technique where elements are chosen from a target population at regular intervals. Systematic sampling begins with the random selection of an element from the population. From there, every nth term is chosen until the sample size is reached. This nth term is predetermined and remains consistent throughout the process, making it extremely straightforward. What sets systematic sampling apart is its simplicity. Unlike other sampling methods, systematic sampling is easy to understand and implement. Whether you're a seasoned researcher or a student working on a project, this technique is relatively hassle-free. Another remarkable advantage of systematic sampling is its cost-effectiveness. Since it doesn't require a complete list of the population, it reduces the time, effort, and resources needed to compile this list. This makes it a practical choice for large-scale studies. Systematic sampling also ensures a fair representation of the population. Because the selection process is systematic, it eliminates bias, providing a more accurate reflection of the group being studied. This leads to more reliable and credible research results. However, like all methods, systematic sampling has its limitations. One key disadvantage is the risk of pattern bias. If the population has a hidden pattern, it may coincide with the sampling interval, skewing the results and leading to inaccurate conclusions. Another drawback to systematic sampling is its dependence on the initial random selection. If the first element chosen is not truly random, it could impact the entire sample's representativeness, compromising the quality of the research. Lastly, systematic sampling is not suitable for all types of research. In studies where the population size is not known or dynamically changing, using this sampling method can be a challenge. The fixed sampling interval might not capture the population's diverse characteristics well. Despite these limitations, systematic sampling remains a widely used technique in various fields. It balances simplicity and cost-effectiveness with a high degree of accuracy, making it a valuable tool in the researcher's toolkit. In conclusion, systematic sampling is a simple, cost-effective, and reliable sampling method. It ensures fair representation of the population, making it ideal for large-scale studies. However, it is not without its drawbacks, including the risk of pattern bias and dependence on the initial random selection. Understanding these advantages and disadvantages can help you determine when to use systematic sampling in your studies. Remember, the key to successful research lies in selecting the right method for the right study. So, keep learning, keep exploring, and let the world of statistics unfold its wonders to you. Thank you for joining us in today's episode where we decoded systematic sampling for you. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will unravel another statistical concept. Together, let's make statistics simple and exciting.